This is a little bit more of a speak about the candidate, the job seeker experience uh, through the prime process, some of which you can also infer the client side of those who are hiring, how it's kind of used and how the job seeker is kind of more well vetted um, and allowed onto the platform. But yes, definitely first and foremost, uh, thank you and welcome. Um, as you can tell, we are Indie Prime and this is priming you for your job search. We are essentially a startup within Indeed. And those of you who don't know, uh, Indeed, we're the largest job search site in the world. This is our mission statement. I help people get jobs. It turns into we help people get jobs, and it carries on through uh, everything we do at Indeed. It carries over to Indeed Prime as well, as we help people get jobs. The goal of Indeed Prime as the startup within Indeed is to focus on a certain vertical, kind of what is most important to the internal recruiter, um, where do they find value, and how can we help that along, right? Still helping people get jobs, just in a different way, and that brings a little more value to an internal recruiter. So what is Indeed Prime? It's a platform, it's a two-way platform, where top tech talent and top tech companies can find one another, through us. The top talent being well vetted, like I said, whether it be your work history, education, hacker rank tests that we give, um, just to make sure we're finding the top talent that is active and ready in their job search for a new opportunity. On the tech company side of things, those who are hiring, those who kind of fit the criteria, I mean everything from front end to data science, product management, um, and they're also active in their job search. So motivation on both sides just to ensure we have kind of a meeting of the minds, right? The talent who is looking, looked to find a new position and also well vetted and the company is also looking to hire, right? They meet on Indeed Prime. To the job seeker, very important, right? What companies are actually using Indeed Prime? These are just to name a few, a few that are in process of making hires, some who have already made hires. As you can see, it kind of runs the gamut. A small startup to a large established, um, e-commerce, Right share. It runs a gamut from small startup to large established company and every industry in between. Um, so do people do have preferences? That's something we like to know. Um, because some people, some people have tried the startup. They're worried about funding. They're worried about, is my job safe, right? So, oh, I'd like to tend to gravitate towards something more established or vice versa. I've been in a large established company. I'd like to get on a smaller team. I'd like to help out my team and be a more integral part. So with some of the companies that are making hires. With this comes a bit of repetition, uh, repetition as far as some of the stuff that already exists in the space. So it becomes, okay, so how is Indeed Prime different? Right? Well, first and foremost, sorry to all the third party, party recruiters out there, but we are looking to make sure you don't exist anymore. My apologies, but we need to make sure that there's got to be something better than somebody who has an ulterior motive, whether it be their commission um, or whatever their, their, their need in that third party space. Um, it doesn't exist on Indeed Prime, right? We say we aren't recruiters, even though we have tech recruiting backgrounds, so just help us to vet a little more, ask the right questions, figure out where you'd like to be going. Um, we are not commission based. We don't have any commission based incentives. And lastly, we don't actually allow third-party agencies to post or pull from the site. So that leaves us with a 100% service-based product. As long as there are an open communication between the job seeker and Indeed Prime, we can get behind you in whatever you're excited about. And then that, hopefully in turn, creates some sort of relationship. If and when you do need to move, you use us, refer friends, knowing that our motive is to truly get behind you in whatever you're excited about. So, you get contacted directly, and one of the big keys for us is salaries are always up front. So one of the questions, if you go through our indeed.com slash prime, 
filling out that profile is essentially also the application to get on the platform. And one of the requirements we have is minimum base salary expectation. And a client who wants to come on as well, we ask minimum salary base expectation. Yes, it's negotiable, it's not written in stone, but it is up front. We need to make sure that we're on the same page and that we're not gonna waste your time or the client is not gonna waste their time to find out two weeks into the process, oh, we're off by a decent amount of money. And this would have been a no-go had this information been presented up front. So to the job seeker, how much does Prime cost? Right, one of the top questions we got at the booth for the past few days. Nothing. We're not putting the cost on you because, again, we're mixing up weird motives as far as what's happening, what's being exchanged. The well-vetted talent, what you've done, your work experience, your education, should speak for itself. It should be what's in demand. And we feel like you should be on there having companies reach out to you. These companies essentially competing for you. So it's free and easy to use. It really is. Indie.com slash prime. And you can sign up in roughly three minutes. This is the first slide you're going to be presented with once you've clicked get started on the Indie.com slash prime website. A few basic things. The one off to the right phone number, actually very important. And I know how reserved people want to be with that number, but it comes to play in such a big way on down the line. So a few basic, what's your career path, LinkedIn URL, so we can kind of get everything in line, start to get a sense of your digital footprint. What roles have you done? What roles are you kind of interested in? It'll be key, because sometimes somebody is like, well, I'm a full stack and back end person. I'm looking, I have 10 years and engineering management is on my roadmap. That's something we'd like to know. So there's two ways to read into this question is stuff you have done, roles I'm interested in because I am currently doing them, and roles I'm interested in as because I am interested in them on my roadmap. Years of experience in that career path, and also drop down for as many languages, databases, frameworks that you can come up with and you have experience with. Kind of cut and paste your job history, your work education. Make sure that that's all correct for us. The next slide you're presented with, what are you looking for? Full-time, contract, internship, what's your location preferences, your work authorization, companies are well aware, they understand. Job, sets, job search status, another big one for us, right? Like I said, we wanted highly motivated people who are looking for jobs, but we completely understand if you wanna kind of put your information in, have a profile set up, and indicate that you're passively looking. Because at one point, you might well be actively looking, and in that case, everything's already set up for you. Like I said, minimum base salary expectation, make, their, make sure that's filled out, and again, negotiable, and truly a minimum base. You can work on equity and bonus structure on down the road in the interview. Relocation, if it's also that's applicable. At the very bottom, one of the other big questions of the week, how do I search without my current employer knowing? It's a very key question. We understand the search and anonymity, which is why this field was put in. Hide my profile from whom? My current employer, some one of my past employers I would prefer not to go back to. Um, and we can list different iterations and whatever companies you'd like on that slide. So where are we located? Indeed is actually located, the headquarters of Indeed is Austin, Texas. Um, Prime is there as well as the first uh, ground to ceiling product that they built. But we have offices in numerous cities and Prime's expansion is in six key hiring markets, right? Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Austin, Boston, and New York. And on the roadmap coming soon here in the next couple of weeks, at Denver, Chicago, Atlanta, and DC. And then internationally, shortly after that. So are you alone in this? Do I just fill out a profile? And then do I move on? No. With signing up, you actually get your very own personal talent team. They're gonna be there to help you from the moment you sign up and are looking for a job all the way until the day you're hired. The first person you come across after you're reviewed by the review team is a talent ambassador. They're the first point of contact. And one of the reasons why that phone number is actually really key. So we can exchange a lot of information in a short amount of time. Um, we could also do it by email, but phone call really kind of gets a sense of the person, right? Throughout all this, we're your advocate, right? We want to know a little bit more about you, we want to make sure that we understand where you'd like to be going and where you're coming from. So this phone call is really important. We'd like to confirm all your information. Basically start to align your digital footprint if, if it already is not assigned. So there's a spot to put in your GitHub, 
LinkedIn. Make sure your LinkedIn and your profile definitely match up as far as dates, job descriptions, summaries, things like that. If you have a personal website, um, stuff you've done, this is kind of more important for UI UX people. Um, they like to see a sample of your work. Get in touch with you. What have you done as far as hackathons? Have you won something? Are you, you know, stuff? Are you an international chess champion? And we just don't happen to know it because those are little things that can help you stand out. So that conversation is to get a good, a good sense of you. So, like I said, learn more about your current situation and also what you'd like to do next. And of course, explain how this entire process works, as it is mostly new for a lot of people. After that, and we're done, I attach your notes to the profile of what we've talked about, and it moves on to the next person, our talent writer. So they take your profile, they incorporate everything we have from our notes. They go to LinkedIn as well, see if there's anything that we were missing, and they basically create a nice little tagline, a little, a little something to kind of make sure we try to capture the eye of that hiring company. And after the writer, well, then it's time to get launched on Indie Prime. So with that complete profile, something to grab the company's attention, we put you onto the platform for three weeks. In that time, hopefully we create a little urgency, that's the three week mark, to make the companies a little more urgent as far as them reaching out to you. This is the person that's on. If they match the skills, if the skills match to what you need, go ahead and reach out to them. Also, who knows, somebody could have been fired for something dumb on week one, they're looking on week two, and they contact you in week three. And then case by case after that, as far as what happens after that next three weeks, sometimes we have little powwows on people and what we can do differently. Well, how can we highlight just to make sure that you know, you're getting the full function off this uh, platform as you were expecting. So then do we stop there, right? Are you left alone? I'm onto the platform and now Indeed Prime has washed their hands of you? No, you've still got an advocate on your side. So, to talk about this next is uh, Travis. He's one of our talent consultants, and I'll have him take it from here. <clears throat> Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good. So, uh, yes, I am a talent consultant uh, slash career coach at Indeed Prime. And um, once your profile is live on the platform for that three-week period, Everybody will be assigned a dedicated career coach to help facilitate the process, the interview process for you as you go through multiple interviews. Uh, some of our candidates have been contacted between five to ten uh, times as their profile is live, which can be you know, quite unmanageable for some people as you have all busy lives and daily schedules that you need to attend to just as well. So uh, we are here to uh, facilitate that process for you. Some uh, other specific areas uh, that we can help you in are uh, salary negotiations, uh, resume, or excuse me, resume help, interview tips, and uh, mock interviews. So salary negotiations, how many of you in this room have received an offer before that was less than what you expected? Anybody? It can be quite nerve wracking not to get the offer that you really want. So. Uh, that is where my role comes in, and I can provide some tips for you as far as uh, market, um, <clears throat> excuse me, market, um, uh, market uh, salaries, uh, geographical salaries, depending on what location uh, that you're looking to work in, uh, as well as your skill set can be a factor that can get you the extra five, maybe 10K that you are looking for to make that offer uh, quite reasonable for you for your next gig and opportunity. Also, the big one is resume help. I'm sure all of you are quite talented on the technical space, uh, but I have seen some resumes come across my desk that are just not up to par there, so I love to extend my service uh, to provide resume tips for you as far as making edits and changes to your resume to make it uh, most marketable and presentable to industry standards of what hiring managers and recruiters are looking for. Uh, interview tips. So there are many companies that are currently enrolled on our platform from startups to Fortune 500s. Many of you know about the Ubers, the Retail Me Nots, the 10X Auction.coms, but many of you may not know about small startups. So we have a whole uh, section and segment of materials for you to provide company backgrounds, uh, their financial status, revenue, and uh, financial forecasts as well as uh, their locations and what opportunities are available across the, com uh, across the country in, partic in particular companies. 
And lastly, uh, mock interviews seems to be that a lot of people exercise uh, this option that we do have available. So you are comfortable and fully prepared and ready to go into your interview for whichever company you may be interviewing with at the time. And we have uh, situational uh, based questions, we have behavioral uh, based questions, and a slew of technical questions from, uh, that we gather from previous candidates that have interviewed with these companies to make sure you are well prepared and your coding abilities are up to par and you're confident and uh, concise in your answers and ready to interview with the manager so you can land that job that you are looking for. And finally, the ultimate goal of the entire interview process here through Indeed Prime is to get that job that you want and get hired. So by a show of hands, <coughs> does uh, anybody like free money in here? Okay, awesome, glad all your hands went up. That's, that's great to see. So once you are hired on the Indeed Prime uh, platform, we give you a $5,000 signing bonus just for <coughs> landing your new opportunity through Indeed Prime and to say, Thank you, just as well. So it is uh, quite you know, the offer there and incentive to use our product and our platform. And another opportunity that we have for you to make money through Indeed Prime is if you're not on the market currently uh, right now and not an in-demand job seeker, but you may have friends that are in the, indus in the industry or on the market, we do offer a $2,000 uh, referral bonus, which is quite nice. So it's a e very easy way for you to make money on the side just by referring your friends over to Indeed Prime. And hopefully they are able to land a job and we will send you a check for 2,000 bucks. So that is quite nice just as well. And if you would like more information about Indeed, uh, please visit our website uh, listed here. It is www.indeed.com slash prime. And I would like to hand it over to my colleague Mimi, who will be talking about resumes and resume types and reviews. Awesome. How's everyone <coughs> feeling? Good. If you guys want to stretch a little bit, open your chest. Um, so my name is Mimi. I am a career coach with Indeed Prime. Um, one of the really cool things um, that we do offer is a resume review. Um, that is actually a service that a company, actually a candidate came to me today and was saying that a company is charging 500 bucks to have his resume reviewed. And I was like, get your money back. But he couldn't, so. Um, but how many times have you guys um, seen a resume and or put something on your resume and you're questioning it, you don't know if it's putting your best foot forward or really showcasing yourself. Um, this was something that I thought was interesting. Um, an ability to smell fear is a quality I've never seen listed on a resume before. Probably not something you should put on your resume. Um, it takes about three seconds to make a first impression. How many times have you met someone and literally said, I never want to talk to that person ever again in my life? Um, it really is important to make sure that your overall personal brand is a, I guess, a, a good forefront of what you want to present. So I want to be seen as a good person. I want to make sure that my resume is going to show that. <clears throat> Poor quality resumes. Your possible ESP is maybe not something that you should share with uh, employers. I'm sure they're really happy that you can sexy dance, but they don't care. Um, you wanna make sure that your skills are listed very clearly and that you're putting your best foot forward again. Um, Overcomplicating your resume and having too much content um, can be an issue. Of course, we want employers to know I'm good at this, I'm good at that, and I want to show you all that I can do, which is great. Um, but you don't want to have too much information on there where it is not readable and understandable. Also, it is big internationally to put your photo on your resume. Um, I personally believe that it's good to have that anonymity, even though, of course, you can go to LinkedIn and find a person's information in their photo. But to have that anonymity, you're really, again, just showcasing your skills and your past experience outside of, hey, here's who I am and I'm kind of a cute guy. So, no, employers, you know, should only see what your skills and your past experience are. 
So let's talk a little bit about resume formatting. The chronological resume is good for candidates who have had career progression. Um, if you have started as a junior developer and you're now an engineering lead or engineering manager, this is a perfect resume for you. Why, right, what you're asking why. Um, you're overall showing your progression and what you've done throughout your career, why you're a good fit for that company, um, and how you have used your skills to progress in your career. Um, a stable work history is an interesting thing to, to try to forecast in your resume, um, but it's important that on this resume you have a few breaks in your overall experience. So as far as your actual dates, listing the dates on your resume um, in the chronolo chronological order is perfect for this, this type of resume. Um, it shows staying in the same field, your past job titles match your current requirements and also what you're looking for. And this is an example of basically what I just said. Um, starting basically at a junior level and progressing throughout your career. The functional resume. This is a resume that I actually like to refer to interns um, because you want to be able to show your past experience and like what you've done, your projects, um, but you don't necessarily want to showcase the fact that you're an intern. Maybe you want to focus more on your skills. Maybe you're changing careers and this is a perfect resume for you. Um, I think this is the resume that I use personally just because it's, again, showcasing your skills and kind of putting your best foot forward in that light. And unfortunately, sometimes recruiters only look at keywords. Um, and I mean, you have to showcase yourself as, as much as possible. Um, I think it's really good for people who are also re-entering the job force after an absence because you're able to, again, not focus on the years of experiencing and the gaps in employment as opposed to focusing on your skills. And here's an example of that resume. So as you can see, the skills and development is brought to the forefront as well as the qualifications. Um, again, it, what are employers looking for? It's important to know that no matter how you format your resume, ultimately everyone's kind of looking for the same thing. So as long as you're showcasing your skills and your past experience, um, employers, again, are more so looking for keyword matches and making sure that your resume aligns with their job description. Your career profile. Um, it's good, a lot of people remove their, object, uh, their objective off of their resume. Um, and it's, I mean, it, it's, it's again a preference, but your objective kind of shows your overview of experience, what you're wanting to do, and it gives a brief snapshot to the employer of your thought process and again, your, what you're wanting to go in your career. Your experience. I tell um, my candidates all the time to take out any irrelevant experience. Not necessarily omit it, but if you are looking for a job and let's say you're wanting to be an engineer and you put that you went to astronaut camp one time, that's really cool that you went there, but it's not pertinent to your resume. Again, skills. I, I harp a lot on your technical skills because obviously that's what an employer is looking for, um, but you showcasing your skills again and making sure that they're relevant to the job that you're seeking. Education is great to implement there. Um, also any licenses, patents, and certifications. Um, and again, your projects, those are the type of things that, um, again, I encourage my interns to make sure that you put any projects on your resume. A lot of people don't put that information, but it's pertinent, especially if you're coming from having little experience to try to get a career and you know, develop your overall career. So Indeed Prime, let's first back up and say, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I need someone to help me figure out what I actually want to do with my career. That's another facet of my position. Um, I've actually sat with candidates and spoke with them for hours on end about where they want to go in their career, what they want to do, and how we can help them to develop to get to that point. So knowing yourself is the first step. Knowing where you want to go is the second step. Figuring out what your personal brand is the third step, um, and then once you figure out those three things, you are ready for your job search at that point because um, you know where you want to go. Um, Indeed Prime, what we do is, the, again, the process is about three minutes to actually sign up and get going on the, um, these are some of our clients, Dropbox, Evernote, Facebook, again, great clients that work with the company, but um, 
above everything, making sure you understand your personal brand. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to stop by the booth, um, grab some swag, have a lot of awesome stuff. Um, and then here's all of our contact information. And thank you again for your time and have a great rest of your conference.